Trains and buses, games and songs, come join us and sing along. Transit Talks is where I'll be, the coolest place in NYC. Welcome to Transit Talks. Hello everyone, welcome to Transit Tots. My name is Ben and I work at the New York Transit Museum in Brooklyn, New York, where we think about all things transportation and how we move around our cities. And today we'll be looking at how we move around our cities to visit many of the sports teams that play in New York City. And we'll get to do that with an old friend. So as always at Transit Tots, we're gonna start by relaxing a little bit. Can we do that by maybe wiggling together? For example, can you maybe wiggle your shoulders like this? Good, how about wiggling your elbows? Shall we try? That feels a little silly. Why don't we try maybe just our pinkies this time? Can you wiggle your pinkies? How about your thumbs? Wiggle your whole body now. And give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Great. So as always at Transit Tots, we like to start with our hello song. So some of you may have heard it before. If you haven't, don't worry, we'll do it twice and you can always join in the second time. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm well, I'm well, I hope that you are too. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm well, I'm well, I hope that you are too. Fantastic singing, everyone. So let's do that song one more time. And since we're talking about sports teams and how we can take the train to the sports games in New York City, why don't we do it one more time and this time we'll sing I'm Playing. Shall we try? Okay, here we go. One, two, two. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm playing, I'm playing, I hope that you are too. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm playing, I'm playing, I hope that you are too. Well done. So the New York City area is home to lots and lots of professional sports teams across a wide variety of sports from baseball to basketball, hockey and football and more. And some have been around for a very long time while others are much, much newer. But one thing they all have in common is if you want to go and see these teams play and support them, you can often ride the subway to the stadium or as we like to say, take the train to the game. So the idea of taking the train to the game is in fact older than the subway itself. When the baseball team, the New York Giants, moved to a new field in 1889, they built it right next to the 9th Avenue elevated train at 155th Street, which was also where you could catch a 5th Avenue coach company bus as well. In this old photograph, you can see the elevated tracks right next to the stadium. And here is an old photo of a 5th Avenue double-decker coach, and this even says Polo Grounds on the front. So as time went on and more and more sports teams sprung up around the city and the subway system got bigger and bigger, many teams built their new stadiums and arenas to be close to the subway. And by the time Yankee Stadium opened in 1923, you could take the subway to watch three different baseball teams play. Now, there are at least six different stadiums in the city you can reach by train or by bus to watch more than 10 different teams, as well as many more teams that are close to the city that you can reach by other types of transportation too. So today, I love to explore how we can use transportation to get around the city to visit some of these teams. And to do that, I'd like to welcome back our old friend. Ta-da! Pizza the Pug! Can we all say hello to Pizza the Pug? Hi! Hi, Pizza. So you might remember Pizza the Pug from one of our previous Transit Tots episodes with my friend Katie. And Pizza is going to help us play a little game together today. Pizza is going to travel around New York City using our trains and buses to get from one team's home to another team's home. And each time she's going to have three different routes to choose from. Can you guess which way pizza might go? Let's give it a try. 
So let's get started with our Take the Train to the Game game. And we're going to begin in my neighbourhood, which is West Harlem. And Pizza is here to play along with us. Are you ready to play, Pizza? Let's go! Excellent! So our first destination is Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, where we'll visit New York City FC, who play what I call football, but you might know as soccer. So there are three different ways Pizza can get to the game. Option one, she can take the B train from 145th Street. Number two, the D train from the same station. Or Pizza can stay above ground and take the BX19 bus. Now all of these routes will get Pizza to the game, but which one do you think she will choose? Let's find out. Let's go! Woof! And it looks like Pizza has jumped on the D train. Well done, Pizza! So let's take a look again at our three options and see which one Pizza chose. Was it one, two, or three? It was, of course, number two, the D train. And remember, all of these answers are correct, so even if you chose a different answer, you still would have made it to the game. So after visiting Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, we're going to go to Manhattan now and visit Madison Square Garden where the New York Rangers play ice hockey. And once again we have three options. Option number one, jump on the D train again but this time transfer to the 1 train. Number two, take the B train but transfer to the A train. Or number three, we can take the 4 train and transfer to the 2 train. So this time we need to transfer, it's a little bit more complicated. But which one will Pizza choose? We should take the B train. Follow me! So Pizza has taken the B train, which means... Yes, at 145th Street, she's transferring to the A train, which goes express all the way downtown to Madison Square Garden. Here we are! Well done, Pizza. We made it to Madison Square Garden. So let's check, which route did Pizza take? One, two, or three? And it was, of course, number two, the B train, and then transferring to the A train. Well done. So this time, Pizza is going to go to Queens, to City Field, where the New York Mets play baseball. And again, she has three different options. Option one, take the three train, and transfer to the 7 Express train. We know it's Express because it has a diamond shape instead of a circle. She could take the E train to Queens and transfer to the 7 Local train. Or, since she's already at Penn Station, she can go upstairs and take the Long Island Railroad. So which one will Pizza choose? One, two, or three? And let's find out which way is Pizza going to go. Let's go! And it looks like Pizza has jumped on the Long Island Railroad, a one-seat ride all the way to City Field in Queens. We're here! Yay, Pizza! Okay, which way did Pizza go? Was it one, two, or three? And of course it was number three, the Long Island Railroad. So now it's time for another challenge. Pizza's going to go from Queens to Barclays Centre in Brooklyn. And again, there are three ways to choose from that will all get her to the game. But which one do you think Pizza will choose? Number one, she could take the Long Island Railroad and transfer to the 2 train. Option two, take the 7 train and transfer to the Q train. Or number three, avoid Manhattan entirely and take the 7 train but transfer to the G train. So let's find out which way will Pizza go this time. Follow me! Woof! And it looks like Pizza has chosen the 7 train, but will she transfer to the Q and go through Manhattan, or to the G to go through Brooklyn? And she has chosen the shortcut through Brooklyn on the G train. And the G train is just a short walk away from Barclays Centre, 
where the New York Nets play basketball. Here we are! Well done again, pizza. So let's find out which way did pizza go? Was it option one, two, or three? And it was, of course, option number three. So we have one more challenge for pizza. And so far, we've visited four out of the five boroughs within New York City. So that means there's one place left to visit, and that is Staten Island. And we are going to visit the Richmond County Bank Ballpark, where the Staten Island Yankees play baseball. But this could be a tricky one, because I don't know if we can take a train all the way to Staten Island. So let's see what our three options are. Option one, we can take the five train into Manhattan, where we can catch the Staten Island Ferry. Option two, we take the R train and then catch the Staten Island Ferry. Or option three, we can take the R train in the opposite direction towards Bay Ridge, catch the S53 bus across the Verrett Sino before finally transferring to the Staten Island Railroad to complete our journey. Hmm, option three sounds a little bit too complicated, but which one will pizza choose? Let's find out. Let's go, woof! And it looks like pizza has chosen the R train towards Manhattan. And that can mean only one thing. Surprise! Sometimes the best way to get around New York City isn't the subway. And since our last park is on Staten Island, we're going to take the ferry. Hop on! Woof! This is it! Our last stop! Come on! Well done, pizza! So let's recap and look at all the places pizza has gone today. We went to Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, Madison Square Garden in Manhattan, City Field in Queens, Barclays Centre in Brooklyn, and finally, the Richmond County Bank Ballpark in Staten Island. So not only did we get to visit five different teams and watch five different games, but we also got to visit all five bars in New York City. Well done, everyone. Wow, that was a lot of fun. Did you enjoy helping pizza get around the city to visit all those different teams? Were you able to guess which way pizza might go? Well done. So that was so much fun. I think we should maybe have a look at that journey one more time. And this time, maybe let's uh, sing a brand new song to help us on our way. Take the train, take the train, to the game. Doesn't matter for which team you root. Take the train, take the train, to the game. Make the subway part of your commute. Yankees, Mets, the Giants, Jets, Islanders, the Knicks, and Nets, Rangers, Red Bulls, NYCFC. You're free to place your bets, just how many fans each team gets, but only one thing matters to me. Baseball, tennis, hockey, football, basketball, the other football, there is something that these sports all share. Whether pass or run or catch or throw, there's really only one way to go. Our trains and buses help us to get there. Take the train, take the train, to the game, to the game. Doesn't matter for which team you root. Take the train, take the train, to the game, to the game. Make the subway part of your commute. Blue and orange, red and white, black and green, and thin thin stripes. New Yorkers wear their allegiance on their sleeve. Whether New York jersey or a jersey shirt, the winds feel good but the loss is hard. But we're all strap pounders when it's time to leave. Take the train, take the train, to the game. Doesn't matter for which team you root. Take the train, take the train, to the game. Make the subway part of your commute. Take the train, take the train, to the game. Doesn't matter for which team you root. Train, take the train to the game. To the game. Make the subway part of your commute. So we're coming towards the end of our time together at Transit Tots for today. But we've done a lot of fun things together today. For example, in the beginning, we sang our hello song like we always do. We learnt a little bit about the history of taking the train to the game and we got to watch Pizza the Pug navigate the city using transportation to move from stadium to stadium and visit many of the city's famous sports teams. So I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me today and with Pizza. Goodbye! 
And from us, it's bye for now. But we're here every week with more fun, games, songs and activities that are all transportation related. So we hope to see you again soon at Transit Tots. Bye bye. Trains and buses, games and songs, come join us.